update. Yesterday was fun. Michelle and I met with Gary from First Founders and he helped us. He's the only person who has helped us with trying to file for LLC status. He's done it himself before and so he took us to the website, was like this form, this form, and then you're done. And that's all you need to do. And he was like, I can look over the forms before you submit them if you want. But he was like, it's really easy and everyone's been telling us do it yourself but then also have someone look it over before to make sure you do it right because if you don't do it right that's like really bad <laughs> but like no one has helped us it's been months we've been trying to do this for like more than four months and no one has helped us and so we appreciate gary so much a huge shout out to gary for just sitting down for a half hour and just helping us through it so love gary love first founders y'all go show him some love because he is just the best so it is time to get some work done. I was just really inspired because I was watching some of Lily Singh's vlogs. She did like a vlogmas last year and I never watched it and I'm watching it now. And I just, I love her like vlog style, her personality, it just shines through. And that is my inspiration. So if I start like doing some stuff that she does, that's why, if any of you watch Lily Singh, love her. All right, let's get this day started. All right, so a really great resilience implementation session today. We're starting to do visualization, and I used to do this all the time as a kid. I used to just daydream positives of what I wanted my life to look like, like all the time. Before I was going to bed, I would do it. It was just, it was so fun and carefree and amazing. And so we basically did that today. and. Now I found, I think that my anxiety has kind of grown because I find that now when I try to do that before bed or when I'm just randomly thinking, like those daydreams will immediately turn sour. Like something bad will happen. Or like if I'm daydreaming about what I want my future with like a partner to be, that person will leave or something bad will happen. And I can't just be happy and imagine all the positives. And so it was really incredible because today I did imagine the positives and I didn't have like intrusive negative thoughts come in during the impl implementation session and that was really awesome. I envisioned meeting Lily Singh and basically spending a day with her and thanking her for changing my life. I was so inspired by her in high school and she really inspired me to pursue my dreams and my passions and I don't think I'd be where I am today if it wasn't for her influence through her vlogs. So yeah kind of getting back to that and the energy she brought and the inspiration she brought to my day. I started to watch some of her old vlogs again because I want that influence. I want that excitement again and I want to channel that energy and that like passion for life. She has such an incredible passion for life. So yeah, it was a really cool implementation session. I feel really good and just excited and happy and it was just a really positive experience today. So I'm ready to take on the rest of my day. So let's go do this. I'm gonna go get something to eat and then time to either start editing the vlog or doing accounting homework. So let's do it. <laughs> All right, we're checking the trail cam and we've got a fox on it. Right, press play. There he is, there he goes. <laughs> Really just his bud very quickly, but he's so cute. All right, so my dad and I were checking the trail cam in the woods and we saw one of the weirdest things we've ever seen in our woods. And so we're gonna have mom come see what the heck it is, cause it was really weird. So let's go show you. All right, we are in the area. All right, mom, come down here and then come like right here. This is like an Easter egg hunt. Do you see anything weird? Not on the ground. Do you see anything in the trees? Yeah, what is that? I have no idea. What does it look is like? A bird? Yeah. <laughs> Do you yeah. want to get closer? Go closer. What kind of bird? A vulture. No. Yep, it's just his wings. And it's, he's like completely upside down. Oh my gosh. Isn't that weird? So what's over the branch? His sternum, it looks like. Sternum? Yeah. Here is a deer skull with a part of his jawbone. Good looking jaw. Look at those teeth. So white, so clean. All right, so it is gorgeous out today. I'm feeling really good. Yesterday was such a relaxing family day. 
I stayed up till like 2 a.m. the night before on Saturday getting work done so that I could take Sunday off and it felt amazing. My dad and I went on a three mile hike at Fair Hill and it was just absolutely beautiful out. I found this rock that literally was like a lounging rock. It had a back to it that you could sit against. It was right along the river. Just the sounds of the water gurgling as it went by. It was just beautiful and so I had such an amazing day. My parents and I found the weirdest thing in our woods. This like vulture had died and somehow his wings had gotten caught over a branch and they were like hanging down like on either side of the branch and he was just in a tree. But that was all that was left of him. It was like so weird i don't necessarily believe in omens but vultures are kind of the bird of death because they eat dead things and it was a little creepy not gonna lie <laughs> So that was a weird start to the day, but the rest of the day was just absolutely amazing. My parents and I also played Clue, which was so much fun. I love taking the little characters and I'll take the weapons and I will try to like balance the weapons on the people, on the little figures. It's just so much fun. So that was really awesome. And yeah, it was just such a nice day. So I felt rejuvenated. So excited to come into the week. Today is actually a really light Monday for me, which is kind of crazy. So I'm gonna try to take the day and study for my accounting exam and just try to get ahead because the rest of the week is gonna be super duper busy. So it's nice to have a light Monday and let's get ready for the week. Let's do it. Wow, so it has just been absolutely beautiful to sit outside. Today has honestly just been an amazing day. I've still had class, I've still had work, I've still been doing stuff, but I don't have so much do and I don't have all of the stress of all the stuff I have to do. And it's honestly just been kind of a perfect day. I sat outside for a little bit and I read some of Good to Great, a book I need to read for Siegfried. And I was like reading out loud to my mom and then I had lunch and I was watching a TV show to have like a mind break for a little bit. I got to take a nap a little bit earlier, but I've also been getting so much work done, just like knocking it off my to-do list. And it's felt absolutely incredible. And so I think it's made me realize how like overwhelmed with work I've been for so long and how I've just been surviving and not thriving and today feels like a thriving day it feels like a win and it's only like three o'clock and I've already I already feel so accomplished I feel like I've gotten so much done and I'm just ready to take on the week and I definitely know that I need more of this and I need more of this type of schedule for me to be successful so it's kind of just like a wake-up call and it's really nice I'm not sure how many more days like this I'm gonna have this semester just because when I have to do homework, when I have to do school, I just have to do it. There's not like any time that I can space it out or whatever, but I do really, really appreciate having a day like this. So yeah, that is the current update and I am just so appreciating and so grateful to be able to sit outside, to do work outside, and to have kind of like a chiller day where I'm not <clears throat> incredibly stressed the whole day. So let's continue to enjoy it. <laughs> All right, exciting things happening. We just got word that we received a grant for Level Up. The warehouse applied for a grant to cover several different things, including supplies for the students, like a sewing machine. So we just got word that we received the grant, so I am so, so excited. So we will be doing Level Up again with the warehouse this summer, and it's gonna be awesome. Level Up Cohort 3. So that was really, really exciting news. And I also have been in contact with several people at Horn that they will be opening up the signature internship program that Ted oversees. They will be opening that up for upcycle design. So any students who would like to intern with us over the summer, they can. And that was really, really exciting as well. So there's just so many exciting things happening and I appreciate every single one of them and every exciting moment that comes to pass. So yeah. Really, really cool. And also we are launching Simple, which is Spur Impact Mentoring Program Learning Experience. We are launching that this weekend. We're gonna do this big kickoff event and I am so excited for it. We have five mentors and mentees or five millennials and Gen Zers that are matched and paired together. And so we are gonna be doing kind of this launch event where we have everyone meet each other and I am so excited. It's really, really cool to see something that we put together kind of launch. It's just been like a super super exciting and fun day so far so let's keep working hard <laughs> all right so it is a beautiful day out today I've been sitting outside doing work and it's been amazing I'm definitely exhausted yesterday I got so much done and it felt great I was like so balanced I was like resting resting and then relaxing but also doing a ton of work and all these emails and 
I just really tired myself out. <laughs> Today I have a ton of meetings. So I had a meeting for First Up earlier with Martha Hall and Jess. They both were helping us kind of think about like, is there anything else that we need to prep for First Up? The pitch is in two weeks, which is wild. So we had a great meeting with them. Then I had a meeting with a student from Achievement House, School Year Adventures. She is working on raising money for sea turtles, which I love. And she was like gonna be making handmade bracelets to sell for them and raise money. And I was so excited because I've done similar things. So I was helping her with that. That is all going really well. So we'll just see what the rest of the day has in store. <laughs> Ooh, it's still kind of chilly out. Not gonna lie, it's, it's a little chill chill. We're gonna go out of the eek. Okay, all right, here we are. <laughs> this is the best lighting I have, so we're gonna go with it. All right, we're checking the trail cam. Trail cam.